know, he's um, he does know my stuff. He doesn't. He knows it very well too. But yeah. he's also he's also the star as well. Right. So like, we, can't, we can't forget that. See, we're gonna make this. A star he's also the star of the show. But he just right. he I'm happens to be multi-talented, so he knows how to do everything. Oh, so, I know. Okay. <laughs> well, you know, if, whatever she says. Right. <laughs> that light right in the middle of you two would actually be good right on the back of the couch if you pointed it. You want to see it on the back of the couch? Uh, yep, behind trip, right there. Oh, yeah. Yep. We, Down a little, yeah, Is where it's on the couch. Right Perfect. Okay. Oh. That looks good. Right. All right. There's a middle finger back there. Is that Lights on. And Lights on the light. Camera. Let's see oh. what it makes. Make sure. This is right. Settings over and oh, you're already recording. Beautiful. <laughs> and you know you can like zoom or not. Oh, we perfect. have wide angle. If you whoop, hang on a second, yeah. If you really want to use it, and zoom. Anyways, like oh, have fun. Oh, nice. Get to play with it. Okay. All right. Here we go. All right. Launch it. And where? Where is my server? Dennis, you got song. All right. This is you. Anybody want a drink in their hand? I want a drink in me. Okay. <laughs> okay. Are you go, uh, John? Can I get a dick? Are you in going me? in? <laughs> He'll. In, he's going to include everyone. Excuse me, Garcon. Can I get a dick? And in you, in, you introduce him as John, and it's like John Claude <laughs> Van Damme. <laughs> All right. It's it's this John. Okay. That's how you pronounce his name. Oh. Oh. Careful with that <laughs> Bugsy. Action. As we're back with a nice with a nice round of dick and cider. I don't know if anybody's ever had some dick and cider. Have you ever had dick and cider? No. Oh, How about you? Have you ever had dick and cider? I'm not gonna say this. I love it. Have you had dick and cider? Dick and cider. This show is actually brought to you by Dick and Cider. Every Person and everyone that I know loves a nice warm dick and cider. You know, it's Dixon cider. Oh, Dixon <laughs> cider. How much do you love Dixon cider? How much do you love Dixon cider? I, well, I order it all the time. It, you do? You, you, Dixon cider. Peter loves Dixon cider. <laughs> Doesn't everybody? Yes. You know, when I went to church, believe it or not, in, in the 1980s, 1990s, uh, <laughs> I, I, went, I actually went to church and the nuns in my church... They all loved Dixon Cider. Did they even have it back then? They did. And, well, they called it Dickon Cider. No, we're talking about Dixon Cider. Oh, that, well, that's a different brand. No. There's two brands. Well, it comes from Dixon Cider. Yeah, Dixon Cider and Dixon Cider. It, it's really good. It's, it's absolutely fascinating. Best my cider. mom the loves cider. Dixon Cider. My grandma best loves cider. Dixon Cider. Who doesn't love Dixon Cider? Even my brother loves Dixon Cider. So this is for you, Lauren. <laughs> So if you guys are watching at home, thanks for drinking Dicks and Cider. All right. More. So here we are. Nice to welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host, Ozzy Osbourne. Wait a minute. What the hell? I am so sorry. I'm being possessed right now. Trip, I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. I've taken too much shrooms, too much acid, too much... Oh, yeah, I'm not a oh. <laughs> it's, been a great, it's been a great night. So I just got off the of stage. My ass... You're sticking out, pull up your fucking pants. Oh, okay. I thought, yeah. I thought the producer was wanting me to show my ass. Okay, that's, right. that's That was in the back room. Oh, no. <laughs> that was how you're supposed to get Oh, that's how, the that's how I got the dick inside. Oh, now I see. Okay, all right. Uh, producer Noah, thank you, to producer Noah, uh, for bringing me my dick insider and telling me to pull up my pants before I went on the air. <laughs> if it wasn't for you, my, my life would be in shambles right now. Okay, yeah. so trip, let's take another trip down. Pardon the trip. Pardon the it. pun. <laughs> Pardon the pun, but trip, let's take a trip down memory lane. And I'm going to walk you down Sunset Boulevard, let's say June 1955. Uh, I wasn't born yet. Well, shit, then so much for memory lane. Huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so this young man right here is actually part of the rock and roll scene since the 1960s. Oh, actually, 1970s, 80s, and 90s, right? It's 80s, 70s. 70s? Okay. 80s, 90s. Oh. All right. And he has shattered so many records throughout the Hollywood. The recent maybe vinyl ones are a little tougher. Okay. 
And so what, where we left off is that you had the Beastie Boys, you had uh, Meathead. Was it Meathead? No. Wait, Meatloaf. No. Wait, Motorhead. Motorhead. Okay, Motorhead. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to the uh, band Meathead. I'm sorry. I thought you came and visited Trip, but okay. I guess, I guess it was Motorhead. <laughs> yeah. And it was Lemmy. Not all Motorhead. Okay, it was Lemmy. All right, so who else is coming to visit you? Uh, who else is coming to visit me? Well, Ray and Jarrett came to visit me and watched me play in Tucson, Arizona one night after we opened up for his band, Night City, back in the day. Really? Yeah. And I ran into him at the whiskey about a year later. Yours. Wait a minute, I'm Zarek. You know, oh. light my fire. I'm sorry. Yeah, I couldn't hear you. I couldn't hear you say I'm Zarek, right? It's like, I'm, yeah. Oh. Ray Van Zarek. Oh, Ray Van Zarek. Man, Zarek. Keyboard is from the doors. The keyboard is from the doors came to see yeah. him live. I got to hang out with Ray, and he told me Jim Morrison stories, and he bought us beer and his credit card at the club we were playing at that night. You know, it was his credit card. That was his credit card. It was a Visa card to be exact. Did you get the numbers? No. Oh, damn it. <laughs> well, if you had the no, numbers, we'd all order some pizza right now. Uh, Ray was... Oh, pizza really was on cool. you. <laughs> no, that was somebody else's we credit card. We need your credit card. That was a different girl. <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> but I, I can't walk out of here without mentioning my good friend Al Bain for leather, if you need leather goods. Al Bain Al leather. Bain for leather. He's the man. Okay, so if you guys you know, need if you guys need leather whips, chains, oh, he does it all. Straps, blindfolds, mouths, balls in your mouth, like straps on, leather. Oh, Albane's in Albane for leather. No, I'm does just kidding. All. We'll edit that part. Albane was absolutely amazing for you. He was like one of your, uh, he's like one of your heroes. He's one of my early friends that I met when I moved to Hollywood. He's one of your early friends yeah. that moved to Hollywood. Okay. So Al Bain make right now, as of this very moment, has is making leather goods, but has he done that the entire time? Oh, it's yes. Yeah. Okay. So Al Bain, if you guys don't know who Al Bain is, he's one of the one of the famous cele celebrity fashion designers in Hollywood. Okay. Now I've had the opportunity to work with many celebrity fashion designers myself because I actually walked as a model on many runways myself through Hollywood, through New York and through Chicago and through Las Vegas, and I walked on many catwalks, and people say, no, you didn't. Yes, actually, I did. And so I got a chance to know a lot of the fashion designers, and Al Bain is actually one of those fashion designers, and his leather goods, actually one of my friends, Michael Fitzgerald, bought stuff from Al Bain um, with, their, with their like leather glove wraps, and they were um, he actually makes those kind of things. There you go. And he actually had them handmade. Now, you actually have an Albane belt on, don't you? Yes, I do. Can, can we see that? Can we see that belt? Can you put it, take it off? Take well, it take it off. Might as well take we just want to see. Just hold it up to the audience. Naked. Look at that. That's that Albane for leather. That's an Albane belt. And that okay. is absolutely amazing. I don't know if you guys at home can see the quality, but... Noah, can you show them the, the quality? Can you zoom, get the belts a little bit closer? Just bring the belt closer. Like snap it on somebody bring the belt, just to no, show just the effect. Bring the belt closer. <laughs> okay. Yeah. We just want to show the quality of Al Bain's belt. Al Bain for leather. Now, how much does something like that cost for uh, Al Bain was a couple hundred team? bucks. A couple? A few hundred dollars? Sure. That's totally worth it. I would pay $500 I for the belt. Feel that leather. That's a rock and roll, legendary rock that and roll belt. Bad. And he has made... He has made it's like nicely made. Al Bay for Leather has made leather for Michael Jackson, Judas Priest, Motley Crue, Pamela everybody. Anderson. Pamela Anderson, Tommy, yeah, everybody. Everybody knows that. So Al Bain's the dude. He's, Al, he's the man. He is the man. He's the man. No this guy, he, I mean, if he's made stuff for Motley Crue and all those other guys, I'm in. I'm so, I, I mean, I want 10 of those belts right now. Al, 10 more, please. <laughs> yeah, Al, I, do, I definitely want 10 more of those belts. That would be awesome. Yeah. Uh, I, I love the way that this looks. So, okay, so Al Bain for president. Al Bain, Al Bain is... for president. <laughs> Al Bain, we're voting for you. I hope you can <laughs> fill, fill Biden's shoes. That's not a tough job to do. But, okay, so let's get serious here. Now, you you have been in the fashion industry with Al Bain. You've been in the music industry with all the legends. What record label are you signed to right now? No, uh, no I'm not signed right now. Okay. Who is the last label I was signed to was Reality Entertainment. Reality Entertainment? Yeah. Have you ever heard of something called, a group called Ooga Booga? No. Ooga Booga is like one of the hottest 
production companies out of Sacramento, California. Really? Booga Booga is legendary for what they do. Their promotions, their music promotions, their concert promotions, their flyer promotions, their distribution, and their love. Ooga Booga is absolutely known for their love. Now, do you know who, who was interest, who is involved with that corporation? Shecky. Yes. I knew it. Yes. Shecky Duffield. Shecky. That was Mo and Larry. Yes. Shecky, Shecky. Mo and Larry. Yes. It, it was definitely Shecky. And Groucho. Groucho. Marx. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. Wrong brother. No, but the one sitting next to you. Peter Fowler Estates. He has a production company, a music company, of a corporation, an industry, a company, and a marketable representation that is all over Sacramento, California. Do you still have that company, Peter? Which one? Booga Booga. It was never a company. What was it? It was something rumored to be like a little venue underground that some and people you shook have- their asses at. In the dark, you had a, you had an underground company, an underground event. Well, I had an overground company. Okay. Pretty fat productions. All right. Pretty fat. And it wasn't me. Me and a couple of partners. Okay. Your friends Chris Burks, Frank Gomez. All right. DJ and alternate promoters like, um, yeah, Frank was the band, and we got together and threw this little shindig every Friday night for a while. And you guys actually had live musicians there, right? No, it's house music, DJs, but occasionally we'd have a couple of DJs creatively bring some musicians right. with them to play. Right. It was right. only a special, I mean, god damn it, which one was it? It's okay, you don't have to, but you've had live musicians here. Once in a rare while. Okay. So you know he had one of the biggest uh, companies in Sacramento that actually did a lot of stuff with music. I know it. Yeah, he did. I heard. And now, you know, he's, Peter's very modest. He, he's very modest. He says, oh, it was just a tiny company, but it really wasn't. No, it was huge. Yeah, he said it was underground, but it, it was underground, but but it was like the size of New oh, yeah, York she... underground. <laughs> 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 he thinks that to him it was small, but to a lot of people it was not small. Yeah. Now, to you, though, for you for your career, now, was your do you is your career small or is your career large? My career is exactly what I wanted it to be, which is <clears throat> which is never end stop. You keep going. You play rock and roll till you die. You rock and roll till you die. That's it. Rock you till you, you drop. Rock till you drop. Right. And that's pretty much the mo um, of the uh, historically of all the rock and rollers. Now you said or mentioned earlier you're a fan of Johnny Cash. I love Johnny. Yes. Are you a fan of Johnny Cash? Who is it? Are you a fan of Johnny Cash? Of course, of course. We all love Johnny. Well, we have Johnny Cash here. Johnny, come on! No, just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> that would be a neat trick. But actually, believe it or not, I am. Uh, I have multiple celebrity family cousins, and he is one of my cousins. That's so, awesome. uh, you know, people say, "No, you're not related to Johnny Cash." Well, I hurt myself today. That's more Elvis than Johnny. Sweetest friend, everyone I know goes away. Here's the okay. So anyway, stick to interview. Our vocals are very similar. He is one of my cousins. Um, I've also got Marilyn, but I don't want to. Th- I don't think you want to hear my Marilyn impression. It's not pretty. <laughs> oh. Wow. But I'm glad that you guys like Johnny Cash. <laughs> I- I'm glad that you guys absolutely love Johnny Cash because he is a really good uh, influence on a lot of people. But your influence is mostly rock and roll, right? Yeah. And your influence is mostly um, house, right? Yes. Right. So this house is what he played. No. No. So your, your house, house music. And both of you guys have two very... Now, how did you two meet? Oh boy, it's interesting. Yeah. Let's say well, there's a common thread in our past, and yeah. we, you know, become friends yeah. through that thread. All right. Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah. Common, thread, common friends through common threads. I didn't say anything other than thread. Thread. Okay, so you guys were yeah. sewing buddies. You guys took sewing yeah. buddies. Yeah. You guys well, learned how to knit and crochet together? We were together. in stitches about the whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you guys learned how to crochet. Okay. So did you guys make some really nice sweaters together? <laughs> if only the sweat could talk. If, if, uh, yeah. if only the sweat could talk. Okay. Oh, that sounds wrong. <laughs> Well, <laughs> <laughs> you 
you know, it, it, it doesn't matter where you where your friends are, where your friends are from, where you find your friends, or what you even do. It's amazing how you're connected. We but are. but friendship is actually yeah. the most important key here. Now I don't care if your lovers, if your friends, if you're if you're in a relationship, if you're in a friendship, it's platonic, non-platonic. It doesn't matter. A friendship is most important, and that's what matters here. And, you know, I'm glad that you two met because you guys are two positive influences on people. You guys are two positive forces. You guys have rocked your own industries. You have rolled, ruled your entire industries. You have yeah, thousands of fans. You have thousands. I know you have thousands of fans. You have thousands of fans. And at any given moment in time, anybody in the world would recognize one of these two public figures and they would actually love to be right here, right this very second with either one of them. But unfortunately, oh. these guys are, are, they're not that easy to get a hold of. They're kind of like Greta Garbo. They're like here, then they're gone. They're here, then they're gone. It's like getting their time is really hard to do. So if you guys are interested and you want to get a hold of them. Don't call because they never answer the phone. Don't call Peter because he never answers the phone. <laughs> And, but what about you? Now, you're selling your shoes, right? I know that, too. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay. Um, so we're going to be auctioning off uh, Tripp's shoes here for $7,500. We're going to start off the auction for $7,500. He's got some beautiful leather cowboy boots here. And he's literally walked. How far have you walked in those? I've walked 100 miles. He's walked 100 miles in those shoes. So if you guys want to bid on these shoes, we're starting the bids at $7,500 for Tripp. Sounds fair. And... <laughs> He said he will walk home barefooted. So trust me on this. If you guys buy these shoes for seventy five hundred bucks, we're gonna send you a video of him walking home barefooted, right? That's right. Ew. <laughs> or at least down Sunset Boulevard. Right? <laughs> yeah. <bro. laughs> yes, sir. So Peter, do you have anything that you want to sell? Oh, that's a loaded question. No, not a you wanna sell your shoes? Hell no. Okay. So Peter's not wanting to sell his shoes, but he may in the future maybe want to sell I'll something. Sell my soul. Not today. That's a good, not you know today. what? That's a really good thing. I mean, if you want to sell you your soul, have, you know, uh, I there's probably a lot of people who would love to buy them, but unfortunately that's something you can't sell. So that's pretty awesome. Yeah. That's a great thought. Hold on to that thought though, but I love that shirt. If anybody can ha answer the equations on this shirt here, can we you might- find the quadratic equation? We might put you in our next video. Okay. So let's talk about this gentleman here. Now, what is it that makes oh, you... For it. What are you sitting back here for? Uh, I'm just a fly on the wall enjoying these wonderful people's company. Okay. <laughs> Paid show to clap. All right. All right. Professional audience member. Thank okay. you. Well, you look good. You look, you're look. you a beautiful and man. Also, drone racing photographer to be. Yeah. And can I say something? I or just rather, like, what was your... What was the kind of racing that we were talking endurance about? Endurance racing. Yes, right. Endurance racing. Riding. I give all the credit to His mom's them. like a national champion. She is? She wow. actually is, huh. yes. Sure. And we're talking about, well, you explained it. I thought it was bikes at first. Yeah, it's just endurance riding. It's like, uh, imagine like a marathon for like horses where it's like, you know, you're gonna go out for a hundred miles and- uh, The movie like, Hidalgo. Yeah, Hidalgo, that's a great movie that depicts that. It's a, Thank you, Peter Taylor. race in, you know, in the Arab Emirates, the UAE, they go out and race. It's can I can I say something? I love your ears. Oh gosh. Your ears are absolutely amazing. I mean, well, they, Prince Charles had some ears on him, and he's the fucking prince. That's so. it. <laughs> you have You're the, the bastard most, child. You have the most beautiful, beautiful baby. Baby. biggest ears I have ever bite. seen. And I love oh, every bit of your ears. Yeah, and you're right. Shows Prince Charles you had. Gotta work what you got. Yeah, <laughs> Prince Charles had bigger ears. My grandfather had bigger ears. So I, I absolutely love those. I think they're adorable. You know, not everybody can you're rock that. Work with what you got. <laughs> no, absolutely. And you know, that's a good, very good point because each one of us, every even you at home, has something beautiful about you that is unique that other people don't have. Now his might be his ears, which are absolutely gorgeous. The me, the cameraman might be his falling over things. Might be his last job. <laughs> <laughs> might be his last job. Peter yes, has sir. got his wonderful Peter personality, and Trip is just an amazing laid-back person. So, I mean, everybody has something uniquely that qualifies them as a unique individual. And DNA, that's it. Yeah, and we don't, you know, you just gotta love each other for who you are, love each other for, for what you are. You don't have to be a world-class guitarist. You don't have to be hanging out with celebrities every night like Trip here. 
who's done it for 30 years, uh, almost every single night with celebrities. Dude, where have I been? Right. God, I missed you. <laughs> You know, I wasn't there when the blondes were licking those shoes that you're trying to break. Oh, you know? yeah. The yeah. Patriots yeah. Yeah. What, am I overselling yeah. it? I'm sorry. Yeah, no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Peter was like, holy shit, I never felt so good about myself in my life. <laughs> right? You said you wanted to feel good, right? Well, there, no, I'm just kidding. You what? <laughs> you wanted to feel good about yourself, right? Oh, I could do that. Okay, I'm like, this guy is the second coming of Jesus Christ. I saw him oh, walk on water you? earlier tonight. God, I, I just, I can't <laughs> he was floating through the air, blessing people, and it just <laughs> lightning bolts were coming down, and people were turning into freaking. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> no, why are you. Okay. <laughs> so, so, okay, so. Shit, I forgot where I was. Okay, cut. No, 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 no. The next interview. The next interview is. Thank you very much. Going to be terrible. Thank you very much. This has been pleasant. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Uh, now you can cut. No. Yeah. We'll call that. Can I wrap it. All right, we got. We got. We got to wrap this up. Wrap this up. Give us comments. We got to do the edit. Hold on. We got to do the edit. Let's do the edit. Are we still filming? This is actually. We're still filming. Yeah, we're good. Okay, so <laughs> <You're> done. <laughs> All right. Well, we want to thank you guys for joining us here with this most famous, amazing, wonderful person, Trip Trigger. That's right. Trip Trigger. Uh, you can Google him. He's all over the internet. You can Google this gentleman here, Peter Fable. He's all over the internet. And you can Google this gentleman. No, please but, do not. But you probably won't, you probably won't <laughs> find him. I appreciate my privacy. <laughs> <laughs> but w most of all, we just want to say thank you for joining us here on this show. Thank you to the cameraman, Noah, for filming and everything uh, behind the scenes. And thank you for uh, all of you guys for just visiting and hanging out with us tonight. We really appreciate it. Um, this was a bit of a serious episode, I realize that, but these are very serious individuals and there's really not a lot I can laugh about with them because everything they've done is amazing and, and they've helped people all across the boards. So, um, but maybe we'll come back with the ne next episode we'll just laugh our asses off with these two. How about that? Thanks for joining. Peace out. Rock on, guys. Stay true. Keep on rocking in the free world. You got anything to say? Rock on. Rock on. Don't suck. Have fun. There we go. You heard it? You guys got it? We'll see you next time. God bless you. Namaste. Right. <laughs> that was cool. Thank you. Oh, hi. Yeah, thank you. And you guys are awesome. Yes. We're going to high five this little <laughs> prop. <laughs> we always have to have a good prop. That prop's been around. Right? I mean, when I said it's been used, imagine it's been used. It don't. Oh. Oh. Oh, <laughs> that's what I said. If you got a condom, it fits. I know. We've done it before. It has there been. There ain't no stank. Hey, you stop that. <laughs> no, no recordings of that. Oh. Hey, did, no, we didn't, hon. <laughs> Trip, really, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Are you, are you filming Trip getting dressed? I'm the only one that ever hey, buddy, will. Let's get on film. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I gotta get those go right on. on. Buddy, the little guy. Uh, you know. Hey man, it was great meeting all you guys. It was great and meeting you. And I'll see you in LA. You're, you will? Oh, yeah, shit. I think so. Do, do I need to wear a bulletproof vest? No. Oh, okay, good. All right. <laughs> okay. All right, Noah. Thanks a lot. We'll get some guitars going. You can share days. fungal we'll infections. All right, we'll see you in LA. He'll give you I some do. valley fever oh, sports. That would be awesome. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I know. You nearly died from that. That's so I'll call him why he lived here for a while. Oh, okay. Because uh, awesome. better believe we'll be by. One little That'd be flying great. Thank you. That would be awesome. It's been California. quite a pleasure meeting you. You too, man. heard of valley fever. It's a real thing. Oh, yeah, I've heard of valley fever. He barely survived. Oh, you had months in the hospital. I got it. Once you get it, you got it for life. I've got it. No way. Incurable. Got a partial lung. Yeah, yeah it came from the inside. Right, it huh? came through his chest. Two inch hole was when I woke up in the ICU. Oh. The poison went through the lung and oh. ate a two inch hole in my sternum. Up. I coded during surgery and they brought me back. Oh, good. And so they all thought I was going to die. So my last doctor, she said, He's the he's a medical mystery miracle man. I wrote a song about it just now called "The Man That Wouldn't Die." 
That's one of the songs we're going to record when you guys are down here filming this. Okay, all right. I'm looking forward to that. When are you going to be down there recording? Well, maybe the end of August or early September. Okay, nice. So we have a few weeks. All right, and I've got you your card. Right? I've got your card. Oh, I'll yeah. send you a text to give you mine. That would be awesome. awesome. All right, gentlemen. And then we'll, we'll actually bring a camera Mother that's got says, fully, yeah, 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 fully charged lights. <laughs> Whatever. Love you, too. Oh. Oh. Hey, buddy. Trip owns this guy's brother. Yeah, I've got this his Capone. He's oh, got, got I, this is a uh, Bugsy. He's got Capone. Yeah. Oh, that's a good kitty. Well, we shared something. Yeah. Oh, awesome. All right, Thank Peter. Doki guy. Oh, oh sorry. Don't hurt yourself. Roll on out of here, Tyler. Oh. I love you. I don't uh, want to crush these. Yeah, don't. <laughs> Oh, right. you're leaving, to, going back home tomorrow or day Monday. after? Monday. Monday? Yeah. I'll try to maybe come by before. That would be hella cool. Okay. Um, yeah, I think we're trying to go to the river for the first time this year tomorrow. I'm not sure if you're up for like the ocean, not the river. I mean, yeah, Monterio. I just came. You just can't, you like a dog, I mean, you. Yeah, yeah, today. Okay. It was all foggy. Oh, yeah, you told me. Good reason. It was all foggy. Okay. So don't, if you're going to go and you want it, sun, don't go to like three. You know, that's a good thought. Because it was. Given our schedules here lately, like I've talked about, that's yeah, about the work. earliest we'd get there. That'll work. Right on. All right. Rock on, guys. All right, great meeting you guys. Be and, uh, sure you don't need, like, cocaine, amphetamines, or something to keep you away from the drive home? <laughs> no, I'll be okay. Just want to make sure you make it. <laughs> I'll make it. I can get you an Uber <laughs> or yeah, drive yeah, your yeah, myself. Nice to meet you. All right, you too, man. We will be in touch, folks. And the hookers are on the house. Somebody right. else's house. But we'll Awesome. Thank you, Trim. All right. Thank Love you. Now. Talk to you soon. Who knows what you got? Awesome guy, man. He's incredible. I miss him, man. That's awesome, man. He's, le he's legit like the real thing. I can tell. He's, he's the real like, thing. So, like, uh, like somebody always used to say, um, what is it? Champion of the downtrodden. It's like he lived here with a buddy in an RV for a few years after his surgery and everything. And, yeah. Yeah, no, I can tell he's like he's the real deal. That's pretty awesome. For sure. Stop it. I don't I don't just get excited interviewing anybody. Like that's something cool. Though. I get I get excited interviewing you. <laughs> and I, I definitely got excited interviewing him. Excited, so, huh?